What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays. It's early in the morning. Just woke up. You know. Uh, welcome to the basement, the horror game. Uh, it looks like it's going to be one of them story things. From even the greatest horrors. Irony is, a, is seldom absent. Sometimes when it enters directly into the composition of events, while sometimes it relates only to their fortuitous position among persons and places. My story starts as simple. Story starts as a simple one. A house. A dingy, antiquated structure perched on the abruptly rising side hill. With a great unkempt yard. Waiting. Dating from a time when, re when the region was partly open country. Ah! The house was, and for that matter still is, of a kind to attract the attention of the curious. It followed the average antique house style, the prosperous peak roof sort. Two stories in a dormerless attic, with a, vic with a Victorian doorway and interior paneling dictated by the progress of taste of that time. It faced south, one with a gable and in buried to the lower windows in the eastward rising hill and the other exposed to the foundations towards the street oh man I should have rethought doing a reading one as soon as I woke up its construction over a century and a half ago had followed the grading and straightening of the road in that special vic vicinity four boulder vold four boulder four for boulder boulevard for Boulder Boulevard, at first called Cavern Street, was laid out as a lane winding amongst the graveyards of other settlers, and straightened only when, when the removal of the bodies to the North Burial Ground made it decently possible to cut through the old family plots. Oh my god! At the start of the Western Wall had lanes some 20 feet up the precipitous, precipitous lawn from the roadway. Nice vocabulary, man. I mean, you're really getting it. But a widening of the street sheared off most of the intervening space exposing the foundations of the brick basement wall had to be made. Giving the deep cellar a street frontage with a door and one window above ground close to the new line of public of, of public travel. The farm-like ground extended back very deeply up the hill, almost to Queen Street. The space south of the house abutting on Boulder Boulevard was, of course, greatly above the existing si sidewalk level, forming a terrace, bounded by a high bank wall of damp mossy stone pierced by st steep flight of narrow steps which led inward between canyon-like surfaces to the upper region of Mangilan, roomy brick walks and neglected garden whose dismantled cement urns. These sentences are the true horror. Rusted kettles fallen from tripods of knotty sticks and similar paraphernalia set off the weather beaten front door with its broken fanlight. Rotting Ionic pilasters and warming triangular pediment. Maybe I'm not smart enough to understand that sentence. What I heard in my youth about the shunned house was merely that people died there in alarmingly great numbers. That, I was told, was the work of a mass serial killer only known as the Maniac. It was said that one Angel Smith was committed of over a hundred murders in the house. He was left to rot in his jail cell. I right clicked. Oops. He was left to rot in his jail cell for the rest of his miserable life. Ever with all the murders and being built on being billed on top of a dug up burial grounds, no one told stories of ghosts in the old house. There were no widespread tales of rattling chains, cold currents of air, indistinguished lights, or faces at the window. The general fact is, 
that the house was never regarded by the solid part of the community as in really any real sense on it. The house was off limits to the public despite no true hauntings. That didn't stop me and my friends from our little game. Okay. 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 Let's get it. Listen, guys. We shouldn't be here, and you all know this. That's fine. Come on. It's only one night. What, you scared? You've been reading too many of these ghost stories about this place, Jana. Colin, back me up here. I'm with Blake this time. Like he said, it's only one night. Besides, it might be fun. I keep right clicking. See? Fun. Try having some. Anyone remember bringing the drinks? Oh, snap. Of course. Not much of a party without it. And with that, it will be one of the last time any of us had a smile on our faces. We moved silently through the yard until we reached the door. Damn it. Blake yelled as he kicked over the potted plant near the front door. The front door's locked. What did you expect from the house that's not allowed to the public? Uh, try to pick the lock. You decide to try and pick the lock. This would have been a great idea if anyone there knew how to pick that kind of lock. You decide to check the back of the house for another way instead. Just your luck. No back door, but there is a cellar. Only the wide metal doors for entering the basement. Okay, here's the plan. We go through the basement to get in the house. Then we can have our party and leave in the morning before anyone realizes that we did any of this. What? Why the hell would you ever want to go into that basement? Isn't that where that one guy took people for his butchering pleasure? Michael creeps behind Jana and does badly acted ghost movements while making ghost sounds. What was his name again? I can't remember. Angel Smith. People know him more commonly as the Maniac. His favorite pastime was butchering people for the hell of it. He's still rotting in jail for all that he did. He's completely insane. He even told the judge that he didn't see them as people, only as his prey. Prey. Now you're starting to freak me out. <coughs> Mahogany. Don't you start backing out on me as well. Like I said, he's in jail. Blake starts to pull on the heavy metal doors. <coughs> leading down into the basement of the old house. That definitely looks creepy, Crop. Ah, fine. Yes. Return. Right clicking. <laughs> Blake gets down half through an opening one of the door. Blake gets halfway through opening one of the doors when Michael puts down the drinks and helps open the other door. My dyslexic. Let's go then. And with that, we all slowly entered the house's basement. As we entered the musty and moldy smell of the basement walls hit us. As we entered the musty and moldy smell of the basement walls hit us like a ton of bricks. We walked into the main area of the basement when suddenly John stopped walking and paused. Ooh. Am, am I crazy? Or does anybody else hear that too? As we all stop and listen, there's a slow creaking noise. Floorboards? No. The floor isn't wood or anything. It's cement. As Colin finishes his sentence, there's a loud slamming noise. Shit! Shit! John has a really manly shit yelling. Whatever. Jonna runs to the door we just entered from only to, to find it closed. It won't open. Come on, Colin. You push on that aside. You push on that side. I'll push on this side. As Colin and Blake push on the metal doors, Blake starts to lean more and more towards the crack in between the two sheets of metal. Look, there's a padlock on the outside of the doors. As everyone looks through the doors, the gold and silver are barely seeable. The gold and silver in barely seeable. See? Okay. Well, I guess there's only one way to go now. End of dim. What?
Okay. Uh, I liked it for what it was. Uh, it seemed to have some run-on sentences. A lot of it was probably just my fault, me having just woken up and then just hopping on this darn thing trying to make videos. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you definitely have some characters I would work on. Just, uh, I don't know, you had a little grid around the, the character avatars. Uh, if you can just go around their corners or add like a little black barrier to around them or something, I don't know. Uh, other than that, and a few run-on sentences and sentences that probably just didn't make sense, unless, of course, this game is being translated. Uh, that'd be, I think you're doing, you're definitely off to a good start. You're definitely trying to be very descriptive in your stuff. Uh, so, it's, I mean, it's only going to work for you. Just uh, obviously check your grammar, which obviously, I'm not a perfect grammar. But uh, find someone who is, have them help you with that, and... You know, try to make sure it rolls off, like read it out loud a lot and make sure it rolls off the tongue and it's not like killing, it's, it was killing me, you know what I mean? But I think I'm forming some form of problem with reading, <laughs> which is now a bad time to do that. But anyway, uh, I enjoyed it, looking forward to more. Uh, I'm going to post this on the developers.io page so that he can see it as well. Uh, thank you guys and I'll see you when I make another one.